Watch out, watch out. Sorry. The drainage mat is secured to the wall of the tunnel with gray plastic caps. There it is. They do more than just attach the drainage mat to the tunnel. These caps are made from the same polyethylene as the yellow waterproofing. And when heated, the plastic bonds together, seamlessly attaching the waterproofing to the tunnel walls. So what Philip's doing right now is taking a heat torch, putting it on the back of the plastic, and melting just a little bit so there's no tape, there's no nails. He's literally melting the two pieces to form one solid bond. The heat gun, called a hot air welder, melts the plastic at 600 degrees. Going up top now, huh? Yeah, give me the heat, give me the heat. So essentially, he just put 600 oh, degrees behind me, and now I'm pushing the rubber against it to melt the two, one to the next, and it is burning the crap out of my hand. And we're not, we don't stop, we keep moving. We're doing this in one shot. We're moving, we're moving. Ah. Oh no, my side more. You gotta be kidding me, why don't you guys wear gloves? This, is, this can't be the easiest way to do this. That, that's just the easiest way, believe me. Hunter, what's going on? You're going nuts out here. We've taken one piece, wrapped around the entire circumference of the tunnel to guarantee that absolutely no water gets in. But to do that, it is absolutely madness. Just, just pure madness. Gunter's team can install up to 10 sheets a day. And with just two and a half miles done, it's gonna take them two more years to waterproof the tunnel. So now that we've done this, essentially, this section of the tunnel, the longest tunnel in the world, has just become watertight. No, no chance. No chance. I work here, no chance. You did it. Yes, I did. Gunter said no water's coming in. If you believe anyone on this site, and there are some very reputable